Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Slayer Only Iron Man series. We're on to episode number 10 already, so thanks for everyone who stuck through all the way till here. I hope you're still enjoying it. Now before I get started here, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be leaving a uh, set of the rules in the description as the Imgur link. So if you have any questions about the rules, uh, go check out the description, I'll leave the link there. I'm pretty constantly getting uh, asked questions about the rules. I do freely admit that some of them have changed slightly, but the entire focus of the series has not. So anyway, this week we finally managed to start working on our defender grind. It's a bit of a pain to do because for one, we need to uh, obtain all of the warrior's tokens in some of the lesser used. Um, methods like the shot put method or the barrel balancing method. They're both terrible just so you know. And we of course need to get the hill giant task which in itself is pretty rare. So I hope you enjoy the episode and let's get started. So I have no idea what level you start getting different logs because I still am only getting regular logs even though I'm level 25 woodcutting now. Still a pretty nice milestone to hit but I should have been able to get them at level 15 woodcutting but clearly it's different for ends. Okay there we go we got another magic level level 73 magic. Now we haven't focused on training our magic much recently because we needed to get our combat stats up for uh, the Warriors Guild and just generally it's easier since magic does cost quite a bit of money but there we go level 73 magic already okay so we finished up our task of ants it's a very long task to do you gotta chop the ends and killing them takes a while on this account anyway but that is uh, 25 points giving us 232 points in total now we got about 100 logs from this inventory and about 300 in total by my calculations I needed about 360 to get to level 30 fire making and at level 30 fire making I can do the sea slug quest I believe. Okay so we got up to 27 wood cutting from that task I'm gonna go grab another one from Vanica and ogres oh is that oh, no wait I need hill giants oh, I thought that was right for a second 97 ogres I think I can do that now I skipped the last time but I believe I'm higher combat so I should be able to do it. Okay so I found this sweet little way to do this task is these ogres actually get aggroed by the cannonballs from people cannoning and I can quickly kill them. I get half the Slayer experience and no drops, but I um, kind of think it's worth it just to get through this task quicker. And we already did the entire thing and it only took me about 20 minutes. So pretty good Slayer experience per hour and just an easy task. All right, we're gonna go grab another task from Vanica. What's it gonna be? And there it is guys, Hill Giants, perfect. We can go to the Warriors Guild now and try to get our Defender. Now 102 Hill Giants is quite a lot actually for Vanica. Okay, so to stay within the realms of the rules and that is to not fight any creatures that aren't on task while there are exceptions uh this is not really one of them so we're upstairs throwing the shot put it's terrible it drains your energy every shot put you take but i mean the tokens are okay uh, for every four yards you get like two tokens or three tokens plus whatever length you throw so we're going to be doing this for a while and maybe save up a couple hundred tokens and then we're going to go try our luck at getting the defender okay so here's the other option here and this one's even worse you get one token every time you successfully block these things they're chucking at you they throw anvils magical beams but it's just boring as all hell and one token per time is actually not very much it's going to take a long time but I basically just do this while i wait for my run energy to restore and then i run back to the shot putting method it's slow, but it'll work. So we're on to killing some hill giants here. Now, at first, I was trying to do the method where you exit the door, but that actually doesn't work anymore. Uh, so we'll have to do it normally. Now, the defenders are dropped at a rate of 1 out of 50. So if our luck is average, we should get two defenders, which I'd be happy with. And overall, we'd probably need about eight tasks to get our dragon defender. So it's going to take a while, but let's start the grind. No defender so far. Ah, there we go, guys. Bronze defender. Perfectly almost on time. Boom. Man, those things are really not visible. Uh, you know, we really sad if you got the kill, got the defender, and then got kicked out. Oh, God, there it is. Oh, wow. That was lucky. Three seconds, and I would have lost that. This is like the best task I've had in the entire game, and it's like the 7K Slayer experience an hour. There we go, level 64 Slayer. That is pretty exciting. And 55 defense. Boom. What a milestone level. Oh, I can't believe that happened again. What? Oh my god, that freaks me out every time. That is ridiculously lucky, and not so much the drop rate, but the way that that happened both times. Ah, oh, not the right type. That's still a good task, though. Getting a mossy key would be nice. All right, that was actually a really good moss giant task. We've got three mossy keys, which we're going to use after this. Uh, lesser demons, it's an okay task. I've just got it so many times. I might not do it. We'll see how I feel after I kill the Moss Giant a few times. 
All right, so here's our first uh, Briofita kill of the episode. It is going to be uh, Room Bars. That's not particularly useful. Uh, the only thing that would be amazing to get at this point is probably a Briofita's Essence. Okay, kill number two coming in. What's it going to be? Oh, God. Runite Bars again. That's okay. Uh, we could probably alk those uh, or maybe just keep them. Oh, my God. I literally had to kill that with an axe because I ran out of runes. And, oh, my God. Strawberry Seed. Why is that even on the drop table? So what we're going to do now is we're going to burn most of the logs we have in the bank. We're going to keep about 20 just in case we need it for a quest or something like that. We'll have to see. I'm not sure if this is going to get us to level 30 or not. At 30 fire making, we can do the sea slug quest, which will give us 8k fishing experience, which is going to help out a lot on our goal of like 45 fishing. Okay, so we used up all the logs that I think we're going to go for right now, and we only got to level 28 fire making, so we still need two more levels. Uh, which we'll just have to wait for one more int task, and then we should be able to get 30 fire making, sea slug done, I'll bring our fishing up to like 25 or something like that, and then we're well on our way to getting the black mask. Alright guys, so we're going to start off the death plateau quest. Now the reason I am doing this is I am 95% sure that completing the troll stronghold is required to get assigned spiritual creatures, even though they are available in the wilderness god wars dungeon which doesn't require you to have that quest done. To actually get assigned them as a task, I do believe I need to do that. So the prerequisite for Troll Stronghold is Death Plateau, of course. So we'll go ahead and do it. So we ended up finishing the quest. Now, one big benefit to this quest that I totally forgot about is the climbing boots. Now, I've mentioned in a few episodes that quest items are okay to use because they're normally unique and there's no other way to get them. Plus, they're never best in slot anyway, so I need to upgrade those items eventually. But climbing boots are very good because they give a plus two strength bonus and are very cheap. So next up here, we're going to start the Troll Stronghold quest. We're just going to bring a bunch of potatoes with cheese and a bunch of runes, and we should be able to save spot all of the bosses. Now, we have 25 thieving, but that's not enough to actually thieve the key from the troll, so we're going to have to kill the other troll as well. So let's go ahead and start the quest. All right, so we are done with the Troll Stronghold quest. I don't believe you get any rewards besides access to crafting law runes, which are not going to be that useful in the future. Uh, however, doing this again, we did get the climbing boots, which is nice. So now I kind of have a bit of a decision here. Am I going to go for Vanica tasks? Because I will eventually need to get that Dragon Defender, and he is the only one who assigns Hill Giants, unfortunately. Or do I go for Wilderness Slayer and try to get a Spiritual Rangers task and maybe start training my range level up? Because I can't even craft a regular short bow because I can't get a flax. So I really do have to get this as a drop, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab a task from Cristelia and maybe just try a few Wilderness Slayer tasks. We have quite a few points to work with. And Rogues, easy task, we'll go ahead and do that quickly. So we want to go ahead and do the Elemental Workshop 1 quest as well as the Elemental Workshop 2 quest. Uh, we're just starting right now by grabbing the Battered Book. Now by completing these quests, I'm going to get 5k smithing and crafting experience from Elemental Workshop 1 and 7.5k smithing and crafting experience from Elemental Workshop 2, which will be so helpful. Okay, so we're just finishing up the quest. It's honestly like a five minute quest. It's quite nice. Uh, now the reason I want to do these is for one, I will need the Mind Shield when I finally unlock Fossil Island Wyverns, which I'm planning on doing hopefully soon. Two, I need to get 50 smithing eventually so I can complete Cabin Fever. Again, all this is in the hope of eventually getting a black mask. And last up, getting the crafting experience is going to be so helpful. Right now, getting early game crafting experience is very challenging. So getting 12k crafting experience is going to help out so much. It should get me to like mid-30s. So I don't know why you start Elemental Workshop 2 way over here in the dig site, but we are starting off the quest and we've gone ahead and grabbed an extra elemental bar so we can go ahead and make the mind shield right away because it's just a useful item to have and I think provides magic defense, so it will be useful for me. I remember I did this quest once and I accidentally made the wrong item when I went to go make the mind shield. I made the stupid mine helmet. But anyway, there we go. We finished up Elemental Workshop 2. And we should be getting some experience. There we go. So we got all the way to 36 smithing and 33 crafting. That is so useful. We can almost craft rubies. Uh, we'll just need one more level there. And we will need four more smithing levels. And then we can make gold bars, which is extremely important for me because I can't get gold bars as a drop very frequently. However, you can get gold ore. And I need the gold bars to make any pieces of jewelry. So we went ahead and made another mine bar and we just crafted the uh, mined shield. So that will give us, I think, plus nine magic defense. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and see how much crafting experience we have in the bank, which is probably not a lot. We're just going to cut all of our emeralds and all of our sapphires, which then should get us to level 34, in which case we can cut all of our rubies. It's kind of unfortunate because I could be turning all of these emeralds into rings of dueling, which would be so useful right now. 
but I don't have any gold bars. I have three in the bank, but I'm saving them just in case I need them for a quest or potentially if I get maybe my crafting level up more and I still don't have gold bars, I can use it to make an amulet of strength or an amulet of power or something like that. I think that's where I'm going to end the episode for today, guys. So we got quite a bit done. We got our steel defender. We are going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks. We got quite a few quests done. We're up to like uh, 65 quest points or something like that. And we even got a slayer level bringing us up to 64 slayer. So our next milestone level will be 66. Hopefully by the time I get my slayer level to 66, I will have completed the bone voyage quest. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And if you are tuning in to my very first YouTube premiere, thank you very much if you're looking for another way to support the channel uh, super chats are actually enabled on these videos so any one-time donations can be given right through the youtube interface or if you are looking for a more long-term way of supporting the channel there is a link to my patreon in the description and if you guys have any questions about this series i should be around in the live chat right now i'm recording this a few days ahead of the fact so if i'm not there you can all uh, flame me on my channel i may have slept in no, i'm joking my future shelf will definitely be there so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time.